sun. Sandy. And we love buzzing around looking for beautiful bugs. And I'm Fern. Today, we're going to be meeting a stripy insect that just loves to buzz around flowers. Can you guess what it is? Down in the grass, so what can you see? The landing of flowers, the living in trees. Up in the air, they're buzzing around. They're hiding in rock pools, they're under the ground. So busy working day and night, and nature's wonderful web of life. Fern and Rory's teeny tiny creatures everywhere we look. They might be tiny, shiny, creepy, slimy, but they do our planet good. Fern and Rory's teeny tiny creatures never far from sight. Fern and Rory's teeny tiny creatures working day and night. And nature's wonderful web of life. Let's see who's got a question about teeny tiny creatures today. It's Kush. Hi, my name is Kush. And I'm seven years old. And I want to learn about bumblebees. Ah, uh, bumblebees are a great teeny tiny creature, Kush. They have plump, furry bodies and different coloured stripes, often black, yellow, orange or white. Bumblebees have four wings, two large ones joined to two smaller ones. Like all insects, they have six legs. Female bumblebees have special hairs on their back legs, which they use to store pollen from flowers. We call these pollen baskets. Jacket, OK. Oh, hello. We love bumblebees, don't we, Sandy? Yeah. So we are going to go for a walk in the park to see if we can find some brilliant bumblebees. But where do you think is the best place to find them? The flowers. Yeah, on the flowers. So I think we should go and find some right now, don't you? Yeah. Let's go. Right, do you think the flowers are up here? <laughs> they are. OK, let's have a look. We are out looking for bees, but we also have to be nice and quiet so we can hear the bees as well. Sandy, what sound do bees make? <laughs> and they make that sound by flapping their wings together really, 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 really fast. <laughs> Shall we try and do it with our hands and clap them together? Ready? Right, go on a circle. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, we better be quiet. We are trying to find bees after all. Right, come on. Let's go. Oh, over here. Come on. This way. Look, there's some lovely purple flowers here. What do you think the bees like about these flowers? Oh, they're bright colours. The colour. Is yeah. that a nice colour? Yeah. That attracts the bees in. And what else do bees like? Smell. Smell. The smell of a flower is lovely for bees. Shall we smell it? Yeah. Let's have a wee sniff. Right, you sniff it first. And you. Me? Oh, that smells lovely, doesn't it? Right, well, we can't see any bumblebees here, can we? Mm. Shall we keep looking? Yeah. Right, come on. Let's go. Over there. Oh, there it is, a bumblebee. <gasps> Look at it on that flower. Yeah, that's a bumblebee. Now, it's great to go looking for bees, bumblebees especially, but you don't want to get too close and upset them when they're busy at work because they can give a bit of a nasty sting. But we're at a good distance here so the bee can work away and find all that pollen, aren't we? It's beautiful, look at it go. I think we should get some more facts about brilliant bumblebees. Over to you, Kush. Why do bumblebees run? Great question, Kush. Why do bumblebees buzz? We've seen Rory and Sandy buzzing like bees. Now let's have a closer look. The speedy flapping of their wings makes tiny movements in the air called vibrations. These vibrations sound like buzzing to us, but not to the bees, as they don't have ears. The bumblebees smell flowers when they're around. Yes, bumblebees do smell the flowers when they're flying around but not the same way that Rory and Sandy did. 
bumblebees don't have noses. Instead, bumblebees have two bendy feelers or antennae on their heads, which they use to smell and feel. The bumblebees live in bee hives. No, only honeybees are kept in beehives. Bumblebees live in nests. Some make their nests in nest boxes. Others prefer long grass or nest under the ground in old mouse holes. If you see a bumblebee flying close to the ground, it might be on its way back to its nest. A group of bumblebees living together in a nest is called a colony and each colony is started by a queen bumblebee. She lays eggs which grow into female bees called workers, who protect the nest and collect food. Later, the queen lays more eggs that grow into male bees or new queen bees who will leave the nest to form their own colonies. I am smack bang in the middle of a bustling city but I hear that there is a special corner of this city where lots of busy, buzzing bees go to work every day. Shall we go meet them? Come on. Bristol's Go Wilder project is a place where people and insects help to produce lovely organic food for us to eat. And one person who knows all about bees is expert Hayley. Hiya Hayley. Hi Fern, I hear that you are a bit of a bee expert. That's right Fern, I absolutely love bees, particularly bumblebees. We've got lots of bumblebees around here, don't we? Yes, we do. Very, very buzzing, very busy. Shall I catch one? Yes, please. Ooh. Well, that was, <laughs> that was quick. And I'm just gonna put it in a pot. So what species do you have? So this is a common carda bumblebee. So it's a ginger species, so it's got these lovely golden hairs um, on its body. Oh, yes. And this one is a worker. So why do you have so many plants and flowers here? Well, this project has been specifically designed to be a safe place for insects like bumblebees to thrive. And it's absolutely full of flowers and, and wild places for them, which they love. Why do you need places like this for the bees to thrive? Well, unfortunately, there aren't as many bumblebees in the wild as they used to be. And they're really important insects. So places like this attract the bees, help to increase numbers. So there's lots of different species of bumblebee around here. There's lots of the species. Shall we go and find another one? Yes, please, I'd love to. I'll let this one go. Whoop. Bye, bee. <laughs> this is a great busy spot. Hayley, how many different types of bumblebees are here in the UK? There's 25 different species of bumblebee in the UK. I see one, this one's quite big, and it's got two yellow bands on its body, okay. and then the tail looks quite pale, like almost white. That is a male buff-tailed bumblebee. Buff-tailed bumblebees have quite short tongues, so they like these nice open flowers where they can reach the nectar, which is a sugary liquid found at the bottom of the flower. Um, and that gives bees energy to, to fly around. Great. Let's find some more busy bees. So this is an excellent plant for bumblebees. Do you record all the bees that you see? Yes, it's really important to identify and to record bumblebees so that we can track and monitor how they're doing and make sure that they're okay. They really do love this flower, don't they? <laughs> they really do. It's amazing. But these bees aren't just out here getting their lunch and taking pollen back to the nest. They're doing something really important called pollination. Pollination is very important because it helps plants, flowers and food crops to grow so that we have lots of lovely things to eat. One in every three spoonfuls of our food started off as crops pollinated by bees and other insects. And food such as tomatoes, aubergines, blueberries and cranberries all rely on bumblebees. So how does it work? Well, when a bee lands on a flower to feed and suck up nectar or gather pollen, extra pollen sticks to the hairs on its body. When the bee flies to the next flower, the extra pollen from the bumblebee's body sticks to the new flower and this is called pollination. When the pollen reaches the right part of the new flower, it turns the flower into a fruit that contains seeds from which new plants can grow. 
Farms all over the world rely on bumblebees to spread pollen around their crops. Imagine that. What clever bumblebees. Look at all of these gorgeous fruit and vegetables. It's amazing here. It is amazing. We've got runner beans, we've got corn, we've got lettuce, we've got peas. We've got apples. Yeah. So when the bumblebees are on the flowers, they're getting some nectar, they're bringing pollen back to the nest. They're also helping to grow food for us humans too. Yeah, absolutely. Everything grown here on site has been helped by our top pollinator friends, such as bumblebees. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, thank you very much, busy bumblebees. You are unbelievable. Wow, what amazing fun. Bumblebees are the best. Bumblebees are amazing, and without them, we wouldn't have lots of the crops, fruits, and flowers that we do. So I want to find a way to convince more of them to fly into our garden. What do you think we can do for them? Make a home. Yeah, good idea. I like that a lot. Most bumblebees nest under the ground. And a nest looks a bit like this. What do you think, Sandy? Good. Yeah, it's very good, isn't it? Now, this is obviously a, a man-made one, so it's a bit different. Yeah. Let's see what I've got here. Some old materials from the garden. So first thing is a plant pot. That's going to be the top of it. Cover that over with something. Then we've got some bedding. What do you think that's for? For the nest. Yes, they'll use that for the nest. And then this pipe. What do you think we'll use that for? For the entrance. That's right, yeah. It's going to be the entrance. The bees will go in there. Perfect. I think we should get cracking. We've got a lot of work to do. First things first, let's put our gloves on. Let's put them on. Right, let's get busy like the bees. Okay, so I think a good spot is going to be up here in the corner, don't you? Good boy, you give that a good clear out. Put your hand in there. That's it. Let's bottle each end. Each end, right. You go up that end. Right. How does that look? Good. Like right. this. Can you pat all that in nicely? There we go. Right, so we've got a wee entrance there for the bee. We can go in and out of that tunnel underground. Now, to make the nest. You want to put the bedding on? In around there. All right, we don't want too much, do we? Is that a good amount? Yeah. Now for the pot. Yeah. It's a beautiful pot. The bees will make their nest inside the flower pot. Right, pop that on top. Well done, good work. And a rock on top to hold it steady. I think something's missing, don't you? Yeah. I think we need a little sign for the bees. Oh, look at that. And I've got the finishing touch, a wee sign that says bumblebees are welcome. Ah, there we go. Let's come in and admire our work. Come and have a look. I really hope we get bees, do you? Yeah. That'd be nice. We are a real mess, aren't we? So we better get cleared up, but I think first we should say goodbye, shouldn't we? Yeah. Bye! Bye! Goodbye! Goodbye. Now we've met fun and Rory's teeny tiny creatures. Let's wiggle like a worm, snap like a crab, buzz around like a busy bee. Let's live like a snail, scurry like an ant, flip around, flutter like a butterfly. Let's spin like a spider, jump 